So let's illustrate the situation with an example. Suppose we have two coin flips. The coin tosses are independent, so uh, the bias is one half. So all possible outcomes have a probability of one half times one half, which is one four. And let's consider now a bunch of different events. One event is that the first toss is heads. This is this blue set here. Another event is that the second toss is heads. And this is this black event here. Okay, are these two events independent? If you check it mathematically, yes. Probability of A is probability of B is one half. Probability of A times probability of B is one quarter, which is the same as the probability of A intersection B, which is this set. So we have just checked mathematically that A and B are independent. Now let's consider a third event, which is that the first and second toss give the same result. We'll use a different color. First and second toss give the same result. This is the event that we obtain heads, heads, or tails, tails. So this is the event C. What's the probability of C? Well, C is made up of two outcomes, each one of which has probability one-fourth. So the probability of C is one-half. What's the probability of C intersection A? C intersection A is just this one outcome and has probability one-fourth. What's the probability of A intersection B intersection C? The three events intersect just at this outcome, so this probability is also one-fourth. Okay. So do we have, uh, what's the probability of C given A and B? If A has occurred and B has occurred, you are certain that this outcome here happened. If the first toss is H and the second is H, then you are certain that the first and second toss gave the same result. So the conditional probability of C given A and B is equal to one. So do we have independence in this example? We don't C that we obtain the same result in the first and the second toss has probability one half. Half of the possible outcomes give us uh, two coin flips with the same result, heads, heads, or tails, tails. So the probability of C is one half. But if I tell you that events A and B both occurred, then you're certain that C occurred. If I tell you that we had heads and heads, then you're certain that the two outcomes were the same. So the conditional probability is different from the unconditional probability. So by combining these two relations together, we get that the three events are not independent. But are they pairwise independent? Is A independent from B? Yes, because probability of A times probability of B is one fourth which is probability of A intersection B. Is C independent from A? Well, probability of C and A is one fourth. The probability of C is one half, the probability of A is one half, so it checks. One fourth is equal to one half and one half. So event C and event A are independent. Knowing that the first toss was heads, does not change your beliefs about whether the two tosses are going to have the same outcome or not. Knowing that the first was heads, well, the second is equally likely to be heads or tails, so event C has just the same probability, again, one half to occur. To put it the opposite way, if I tell you that the two results were the same, so it's either heads, heads, or tails, tails, what does that tell you about the first toss? Is it heads or is it tails? Well, it doesn't tell you anything. It could be either of the two, so the probability of heads in the first toss is equal to one half, and telling you that C occurred does not change anything. 